In this video, we're going to see how we can use Vim Fugitive plugin to integrate Git workflows directly into Vim editor. So the author of this plugin says it is so awesome that it should be illegal. And let's check out what the first is all about then. So first, first of all, you need to add this plugin to your Vim RC. So if you go to Vim RC and Fugitive, so I have this line 34. Uh, where I have added this plug, so it, it, it is basically name of the author and the name of the repository, and followed by plug install, and it will install it for you. I have it already installed, so it doesn't doesn't show me anything. And let's just quit out of this. So I'm in a Git repository here. I have two separate windows open to show what each Git command in Vim corresponds to, what actual Git command it corresponds to. Uh, it's, pro it's probably gonna make sense when I start doing it. So I think git status uh, I think everybody's familiar with that So it shows you like what files you have changed and what files you have come uh, com uh, added for a stage for commit Etc. So let's open a file called let's open this file hub config and find something to change. So Okay, I think uh, Here if I go 5j and then here is with or without so let's change that to r for replace and r let's change it to r and write this file so what, now i have changed this file and it sh when i do when i should when I, when I do git status it should show me that i have changed this file and i can do also do git diff to see what i have changed so to see uh, to actually see the difference uh, between my previous version and my current version I have to actually have another window open either on the side or or on the other terminal or wherever else but how can I do this directly in my editor so let me just close this pane and show you directly in them so git fugitive has a bunch of commands where, which you can use to uh, see uh, the different uh, see and perform different git actions so for, first of all colon g is the base command so if you do colon g and enter it will show you which file you have currently changed which was hub config in our case and it is unstaged at the moment so if you press s here it will stage that file so if you have multi and if you press u it will unstage that file if you have multiple files you can go to each file and press stage to stage that file and it will stage it so now we have since now we have staged this file. Let's see, uh, does that show in uh, git status here? So if you do git status, okay, it shows you uh, it is staged for commit. Now we can do git commit to uh, go further ahead. But if you want to unstage it, it's quite easy. And if you do git status again, it will show you. Okay, it needs to be added to be. It needs to be staged and then followed by commit. So let's close this back again and okay this is fairly straightforward and let me just close this buffer as well by using bd and go back to the file so now what else can i do so i can do any git command um, so which is for example if i do colon g log it will show, it will show me the various uh, it will show me the git log and you can the, the the one of the most uh, uh best features about this is you can click on the commit so you can press enter not click in vim we don't click so you can press enter on all these commits to see what the change was so if i press enter it will show me uh what the change was so let's see so in here only one line was added so let's go back and let's like go to a different commit i guess so let me go do git g log again and then let's say let's go to this commit and let's go down okay so it's changed a few things about norm type so this was the change in this commit so i changed the norm type and added a few warning comments here so yeah but that's really cool so um, and what else can you change what else can you see you sorry so we can do git div so we can do g call in div to see the div as you would do with git div 
this is also quite cool so you can do all the web stuff here you can also search for words for example if you can search for this word demask so demask so it'll show you that word uh, here in the git dev itself so that's really cool as well and you can navigate here as, as you would navigate in vim using jk and uh, wb and all that so let's close this as well using bd to close the buffer you got to bd so now let's say i want to add this file again so to add this file i can do g colon g so the git status command doesn't work so you have to do colon g so that's equivalent to git status kind of and let's save this file so i save this file using s now i have saved this file now let's let me close this buffer by bd and now i can do is commit do commit so how can i do commit so as usual we can do colon g and commit so once you do commit it will show you uh, a series of uh, not a series or it will open an editor and we can type the comment message you want so let's do this is an example comment and you can do right quit to do the commit and press enter so now you have committed you can view the git log by doing g log so now your commit shows here and it will also show you what changes you did by pressing enter on the commit id so you are right now on the commit id and press enter and it will show you okay you have changed this line here and this is the this is the change now we can exit back by using pd and let's exit, exit back please so now uh, you can do regular git commands as well and see okay it shows me here but you did all that inside the editor that was the whole point let's look at one additional feature that this plugin has to offer which is we can view git blame as well in the editor itself so we can do uh, escape colon g and followed by blame and press enter it will show you uh, who changed what line let's go to the change that i made recently and press enter on the commit id to view the change that i did if i press enter it shows me that i changed what i changed and what was deleted and we can go back by pressing bd and let's not go, uh, let's let me show you one more uh, additional feature which is g browse so what it does is let me go over to the repository uh, under the repository and show you and let me go to this file so what it does is uh, when you do g browse it will take you to a link in the web browser corresponding to the file let me just show you so it is g browse so it'll open a link automatically in the browser which is actually really cool so let's let's try another file uh, so let's do this one this is my vimrc file which i have my git repository i can do g followed by browse that's really cool isn't it yeah that's about it so these are the features that i commonly use and um, there's uh, additional features that you can check out in their repository itself. Thanks for watching.